All right, uh, I'm back uh, just a couple minutes later. Uh, yeah, so I guess we'll do the try and do the sand dungeon now. Uh, should probably just take uh, I don't know 20 minutes or so. I think I think most of the dungeons in this are actually uh, pretty short. So. Yeah, no, I know this one has a couple of spots where uh, you you go outside and run around and enter it a different way. Uh, I guess that wasn't it. Yeah, so I did uh, I did research a little bit. It seems like I was uh, correct that the uh, on the NES the save glitches are caused due to the uh, the low voltage causing the CPU to uh, run crazy and uh, randomly overwrite the save data. Uh, I would like to probably, I don't know, research that a little bit more later, see if uh, later games solve that. Because uh, I know they could have uh, Probably you could put like a brownout detect chip on the cartridge itself and have that uh, disable the, uh, the writing to the cartridge. Have that uh, like uh, anded together with the uh, write enable line or something. Uh, I suppose another way, yeah, you could have a like a mapper or something with. Uh, you had to send uh, specific commands to it uh, in order to enable writing. Uh, but I guess that would have the problem that uh, if the, the CPU going crazy randomly jumped to the spot uh, to enable that, it, it could execute that code and then uh, you know randomly write. I think uh, apparently some games used, uh, they would save like uh, multiple copies of everything uh, and then if there were, uh, as well as a, like a checksum. So if there was any discrepancies then it would have, uh, you know, if you've got three copies and one of them's wrong, at least you know, uh, you know, you can take what the other two copies are because they're probably not going to both be randomly wrong in the same way. Uh, Although I guess if you had checksums, you would only really need two copies that were checksummed. Uh, if either of them was correct, you'd use that one. Uh, apparently, uh, I read that uh, Mystic Quest uses this. On uh, the Super Nintendo. Alright, so that's where the uh, big chest is. Okay, good, it's on the map. Uh, and apparently the Super Nintendo didn't really have problems with uh, this, uh, but I couldn't find any like explanation of why. Uh, I would guess since it, uh, since the NES wasn't designed really with uh, saves in mind, like they didn't. Uh, the first save game wasn't till like months or years after uh, the system came out. Uh, that uh, you know, there's just nothing in the console to help with that, but. Uh, it could be the SNES does have like a uh, proper brownout detect chip in it. Oh, I wish I had the uh, uh, bug net. Uh, I know like I've even seen this myself with uh, microcontrollers. Uh, if the brownout detect is disabled uh, or set incorrectly, uh, then you end up with uh, uh, I've seen like EEPROM data get erased uh, during uh, power problems. Okay. Uh, I must be getting the mitt here. Okay, I'm gonna go to the right side. 
Yeah, I guess uh, going on with the uh, the next uh, uh, Zelda game, Zelda 2. Um, I never had this one as a kid. Uh, I don't think I even knew it existed. Uh, I mean, like, you know, uh, I never had it on the NES uh, or knew about it at that time. Uh, the, the first time I played it was on the uh, GameCube uh, collection. Uh, like I said, I didn't really play it that much. Uh, and then I, I must have, I probably tried playing it like in an emulator uh, at some point uh, in the years in between. Uh, but I never really, I don't know, got very far. I don't know if I even got, like, into the first dungeon. Uh, then, uh, it was just last year, uh, you know, I wanted to, uh, you know, finally beat it. And I've heard kind of mixed, uh, you know, mixed uh, reputation about it uh, online. Uh, where some people say, oh, it's it's just horrible, and other people say it's like their favorite one. And I know people kind of say that about the first one, which is my favorite one. So I figured, okay, I, you know, it would be worth it to give this a try. Uh, so I was going to beat it, and I did end up really liking it. I think it's probably, I don't know, it's among my favorite Zelda. I don't know if it's... It, I don't like it better than the first one, uh, and I do think I like Breath of the Wild better than it, and I think mm, it is overall, I think, less polished than a lot of the other Zelda games, like uh, A Link to the Past and uh, Ocarina of Time and so on. Uh, like, a lot of it just feels kind of weird. Uh, so, like, I think in that way it's a little bit worse, but uh, I do like that it is still, uh, you know, you have to draw your own maps and you have to pay attention and, uh, you know, listen to the clues and all that. I think, uh... Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What I wanted to do was just uh, stay here. I think these guys can't get you if you're in the door. Yeah. Yeah, so I wanted to, uh, you know, finally beat that and just kind of make, make up my own mind, see like what it was about and everything. And yeah, I did really like it. Uh, uh, you know, it does have some problems, but I was able to beat almost all of it without a guide. The only spot I had to look up was uh, uh, the kidnapped uh, kid. The uh, the hint for that just isn't very good. It says he was taken to an island, but the uh, the island that he that he gets taken to is like this huge, like one screen big uh, spot. Whereas there are other like islands out like in the middle of the water that are a single a uh, single dot that seem much more like islands. Like the island he gets taken to really seems more like a uh, I don't know a section of land surrounded by rivers. Uh, I'm not sure what the correct term for that is. Uh, there's probably some term, but. Uh, yeah, it didn't. Uh, it didn't seem like an island, so I wasn't looking there. Did this do anything? No, I guess not. It is nice that they have uh, they have those just kind of sitting there, like even though you're not using them for a puzzle or anything. Uh, you know, other places have. Uh, torches that aren't lit and are dark, and this place happens to be bright, but there's no reason why it shouldn't have torches. Uh, yeah, so I, I did really like to, uh, 
I'm planning to probably sometime play... There's a bunch of other similar games, like uh, Battle for Olympus or whatever, uh, Rygar and so on. I think those kind of like side-scrolling action platformer adventure games were fairly uh, common at the time. Uh, I'd like to play a couple more of them. I think this is the spot. Yeah, I, I kill him and this place gets wider. Or no, I light I light the things and it gets wider. That's it. already uh, 10 minutes it's funny I'm sure this probably took me like days or whatever to get here as a kid guys, uh, they don't really put up much of a fight. game in the series is, well, this one, uh, Link to the Past. Uh, I think I talked about it at the beginning of the, uh, the Let's Play, so there's not much else to say. I uh, had it as a kid, beat it a ton. Uh, I haven't beat it in a couple years, uh, but I still remember, I think, most of the stuff. Yeah, and I guess, uh, I, know, I guess that's it, uh, I know there's, like, the, uh, I think there's, like, the Ancient Stone Tablets or whatever, uh, the BS Zelda, uh, I don't think I've played them, but, uh, I would like to sometime. Yeah, I, there was, a uh, something around here, I guess not. Ah, there we go, there's the, uh, one magic spell or whatever. Yeah, I remember this. It's gonna be something uh, better, I guess not. I guess he, I think he's the one that turns into a treasure chest in the dark world, and I take him to the place to get opened, the blacksmiths or whatever. 
Anyway, uh, gonna head north now. Up and right and up. And I guess that'll do. Oh, I spent so much as a kid just uh, running around cutting the grass to get rupees. Those are always uh, disappointing. for a second. I think uh, well, I can get up here now because I can... Uh... Oh, okay. I could have got up here anyways. Uh, but... Uh, I think I need to bring her a uh, mushroom. I don't uh, need to go up here yet, but I'm pretty sure I can uh, get something for now. Uh, I think this is the spot where you toss in your, your stuff and then she gives you uh, better stuff. Or whatever. Uh, and I also think I can get the uh, flippers here. So I might as well do that while I'm here. Yeah, I am curious how... Uh, I don't know how uh, non-linear this is. I've, I've heard it is fairly non-linear, but I don't know if that's people just uh, counting, like, running into dungeons and getting the item, and then, like, running out and then doing another dungeon. Which is... I don't think that should really count. Uh, you know, most of the time is getting to the dungeon. Uh, if you're just uh, running into the dungeon and getting the item, you might as well just finish the dungeon. I don't think that really counts as being non-linear. Uh, and I think I've always done it more or less like in the suggested order. I think it has numbers on the map once you uh, uh, get to the next part. Uh, where you're unlocking the crystals. Uh, rupees. Okay. Uh, no. I want to get that heart if I can, but uh, not 100% sure uh, if you need the uh, mirror to get it. If it's one of those things where you. Uh, You appear up there uh, from uh, the dark world.
must be over here. Yep, okay. This, uh, I think this is the thing here behind the waterfall. Uh, the, yeah, throw something in. Yeah, so I can get that. Uh, I don't know what else I can get from this. Uh, I don't think that does anything. I don't think that. Uh... Okay, I know these get filled with magic. Uh, they, they get the uh, green potion. Sure, I don't think the sword or shield uh, gets upgraded here, but I might as well check. Oh. Okay. I don't know if that's the... I think there's another spot where you can get that. You, you buy it or something as well. Uh, and I think there is one other item that you can toss in here in order to get upgraded. Okay, oh well. Uh, I think I could go get the fourth bottle now. I think I've got three. Uh... I think I need to just go uh, get the bottle. And I believe he is uh, down here. No. Oh, that's, uh, that's the wrong way. here somewhere. I think I just gotta, I gotta find a way to get in this. Maybe it's this bridge? I know it's one of these bridges. Uh, I guess uh, while I'm here, 
think I can get up there. Yeah. Uh, I don't I don't think I have enough rupees for this. There uh okay. I was hoping there'd be a heart in there. Yeah, so I guess, uh, I don't know, the next Zelda game's uh, Link's Awakening. Uh, that's one I, I didn't have as a kid. Uh, I got the Game Boy fairly late in its uh, life. Uh, I got it with uh, Pokemon Blue and then shortly later got Yellow. Uh, and, you know, I was hooked on those, so I never really played many other games. Uh, and so I never had Link's Awakening as a kid. Um, okay, am I, am I doing this right? Uh, it must be every 100 rupees or something. That must be every hundred rupees. I'll have to come back, I guess. Oh well, at least I got the uh, the flippers first uh, before uh, throwing all my rupees in there. Yeah, so I never I never had it as a kid, uh, and then yeah, I think it was. Uh, I don't think it was last year, but it was maybe a year or two ago, uh, maybe three, that I uh, decided I was going to play uh, Link's Awakening. Uh, yeah, it, it was uh, pretty good. Uh, it wasn't my favorite Zelda. I think I like most of the other Zelda games better, but uh, most of them are pretty good, so uh, it's not saying it's bad or anything. That uh, keep uh, opening the map. Okay, I'm, I'm short one bottle still. Uh, anyway, that's three of them. Uh, yeah, it was uh, it was good. Um, I never played the uh, 3DS or no the the Switch remake. Uh, I guess I think I, I played the Game Boy 1 pretty shortly before that came out, so uh, I wasn't terribly interested in beating it again so soon. Nothing, nothing good in there. Uh, I do, I do like the art style of the uh, new one, uh, but otherwise I haven't, uh, I don't know, not much interest in playing it right now. I don't know if I'll beat it someday, uh, you know, because the game was good, but it's not like it was uh, really like my favorite or anything. Uh, okay, I guess I should head up north now. Okay, I 
thought there might be a secret there. So I guess the next game in the series is uh, Ocarina of Time. Uh, I had this uh, as a kid. I I don't know if I got it like released. Yeah, it wouldn't have been release day, but I got it uh, for Christmas. Uh, I don't remember when it came out, but I'm assuming I probably got it. Uh, the uh, you know the Christmas right after it came out. Uh, and yeah, I played it a ton. Uh, you know, I just beat it over and over, and uh, not even just beating it, but also just like messing around, just wandering around Hyrule Field. Uh, Yeah, just wandering around Hyrule Field, uh, you know, shooting birds and fighting skeletons and stuff. Uh, uh, and uh, yeah, just you know, wandering around, exploring, doing everything. Uh, I never had a player's guide for it, uh, but uh, I think I still managed to get, like, everything. Uh, I think maybe the only thing I didn't get at the time was uh, all of the gold sculptures. Uh, I think that was probably... Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think I managed to get every one of them. But like aside from that, I think I got like all the hearts and everything. Uh, yeah, I remember when I I first got it. It took me, I don't know, it must have been a couple days or something just to get into the Deku tree. Like I just, I don't know, I got lost and I didn't know how to get in there. And uh, I think I for a while I didn't see the. Uh, the little hole you gotta go through to get the sword. So I was just like wandering around uh, Kokiri Village forever. Uh, yeah, eventually I I know I got through there, and then I think you know I got stuck at a couple other spots, and uh, I remember being like really terrified of the. Uh, Shadow dungeon with the well and the well, the well and like the shadow dungeon. Uh, those were just uh, terrifying as a kid. Uh, and I remember one thing I I tried doing for a long time was uh, I was sure that there must have been a way to uh, unfreeze Zora's domain as an adult. Because uh, I think when you beat uh, like the the water dungeon or whatever, uh, I think someone kind of implies that like, oh yeah, you you know you saved Zora's domain, it'll it'll unfreeze soon or whatever. Uh, and so I took that to mean like, okay, it's this is the start. Now there's like something you can do to to finish unfreezing it. 
uh, you know, if you can just figure out to do the right thing, then uh, the rest of it will unfreeze and you'll be able to, you know, see all the Zoras as an adult and stuff. Uh, so I spent forever, uh, you know, I thought, like, okay, maybe if you, like, use Din's Fire, like, a hundred times in Zora's Domain, or, uh, you know, or you use it, like, in a certain spot, or you use Fire Arrows somewhere, uh, or remember there's a, uh, when it's all frozen, there's a big, uh, you know, a uh, spot where it's uh, jutting out uh, of the ice. There's like a big rock jutting out. And I was sure that like maybe you could like, if you threw a bomb and it, it landed like right on that thing, then, uh, you know, it would shatter all the ice and then the place wouldn't be frozen anymore. Uh, or maybe you could jump off and uh, hit that with the Megaton Hammer to uh, break all the ice and uh, free the Zoras. Like, I tried doing that so many times, just jumping off the water, the frozen waterfall at the top and uh, you know, hitting the ice or the rock or whatever with the Megaton Hammer. Yeah, and I thought maybe, like, there was some way you could, like, get the Triforce, and then, uh... And then, like, use it to save the Zoras or whatever. Uh, so I... yeah, I spent forever doing that. Yeah, and then I... uh, it did take me... I don't... it must have been, like, weeks and weeks to, uh, beat the game. Uh... And yeah, I remember like, you know, finally, uh, I, I think I'd probably, I don't know, gotten halfway through and then just started again and gotten halfway through and, you know, it seemed like forever when I finally actually beat it. Uh, so yeah, I know, I know next I'm supposed to go into the dark world and then use the mirror and everything. Uh, I'm just, uh... Just checking around, seeing if there's any other uh, art pieces or anything. Now I can turn into a rabbit. Uh, keep hitting X or whatever instead of the uh, start. Master Sword, of course. Yeah, I can't do that yet. Actually, uh, I'm just gonna check around here. Eh, it's not. I'll uh, do the dungeon first. So I, uh, you know, once I beat it, then I went and beat it, like, over and over again, and, uh, yeah, I just played that a ton. Uh, since then, I don't think I've played it, uh, too much. Uh, you know, I have, I think I went through it, uh, occasionally again, uh, Uh, I had it on the that GameCube disc, but I didn't really play it on there. Uh, I did get the uh, 3DS uh, remake. Uh, I think I may have beat it there, but uh, I'm not sure. 
Uh, and I think I I may have gone through it at some point with a. Uh, Uh, I know there's high-res texture packs available that make it look really nice. I think I may have gone through it again uh, uh, using one of those. But aside from that, I don't think I've, uh, I haven't played it that much, uh, since then. So I think I just get the pearl in here. Which is kind of a disappointing dungeon item. I do, uh, I do really like Ocarina of Time, though. Uh, I'd, I'd place it, I don't know, somewhere around mid. Uh, I don't, in terms of like the uh, the order of how much I like them. It's, I don't know. There's others I like more, but uh, I do like it uh, better than some other ones.
Man, I think I'm supposed to... Oh, okay. Uh, I get up higher and then I, I fall into there. what else to say about Ocarina of Time. Uh, I think probably everyone's played it. Uh, it's, I think it holds up uh, pretty good. I know that's one thing people say. It's like, oh, you know, it's it doesn't really hold up, but uh, I think it does look pretty good, especially, uh, I don't know, for the time. Uh, I think the N64 games typically ended up uh, uh, looking quite a bit better than... Uh, like the PlayStation and so on. Uh, just because I think they're a bit more uh, you know, cartoony or whatever, so they don't, uh, you know, they don't end up looking as bad as. Well, like you know, GoldenEye looks kind of horrible today. Uh, same with Perfect Dark, but like the Mario and Zelda games, I think they look good. So I need to fall off kind of more of a bit more north from where I did. Okay, good. Yeah, I do, yeah, I think, and like I mentioned at the beginning, I, I want to play through uh, Zelda at least a little bit, just in VR, uh, on Dolphin. Um, hopefully it looks okay and there's no weird glitches, because I think that would be really cool. Uh, just playing it like that, it really makes it like, you know, you're in that place, like, you know, I could actually, you know, I could be in Kakiri Woods, basically. Even just firing it up and going through there would be nice. kid. Oh, another cool thing I remember about Ocarina of Time is, uh, I remember there was a guy who was, uh, like, totally blind, like, a hundred percent, uh, and he's got, like, a, uh, a Let's Play he did on, uh, Ocarina of Time and just, uh, you know, how he kind of gets through it, uh, I think he, he, a lot of times you use like the boomerang or the hook shot is kind of like a uh, range finding. Like you use it and see how long it takes before you uh, before it hits something, and then you can kind of like map out places. Uh, I thought that was pretty cool to watch. All right. Uh, I guess uh, probably take a break here. Uh, and the next time I'll get the Master Sword and uh, continue on with uh, getting the crystals. Alright. <laughs>